guys good morning good afternoon good evening anywhere you're watching this video around the world uh, this is Zagatech FX so uh, and in my previous video I talked about penance pattern right and this is flag pattern so all these are continuation pattern right I think I'm going to talk about like four or five continuation pattern from there we'll move into neutral pattern from neutral pattern we'll move into continuation pattern uh, uh, reversal pattern sorry that was pattern so the flag right so a flag pattern is is what we call a take a break pattern you understand what i mean by take a break if you work if you're working on a company you work in something you want to take a break you have it there's always a break time right so this kind of pattern generally is what start off from a large big move in the world in one direction forming a fairly steep pole right you can start from bullish move you can start from bearish move you can see that in the high impact news you can see that in a sharp move in the market when maybe we have a consecutive like four or five news happening at the same time you can see a sell 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 signal or buy 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 before it begin to reach bound right so after that fairly you know take a break move then there comes a flag formation and it's gently what zigzags upward or zigzags downwards as you can see on this as you can see here right slightly and this zigzags move slightly against what initial move right so if market is coming downwards a sharp move from downward is slightly you know zigzag upward a little before continuing what the downtrend this is applicable to bullish before continuing what to to an uptrend right so to be a two flag flag the formation takes place between two equal separated lines so you can use your trend line though we have some indicators around there and that's uh, it's called channel right channel indicator that helps you draw the channel uh, on your on your on their on the actual chart right so so this equal lines formation forms a small support and resistance channel right so the bear flag is formed as a slightly rising formation while the bull flag is formed slightly falling what formation so this is exactly what i explained here in the video when you when you have a sharp move downward we'll have an high impact news we have like six seven impact news coming towards the market but getting bearish 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 and we we'll have a halt for me a support zone then have a bull the market bounce up again have a resistance zone you know the lower are becoming higher and the higher are becoming higher right so when you use your trend line although we have as i said earlier we have a, a channel a channel indicator we can which can browse channel indicator you can download a lot of it from the uh, online or, or from google any place you want to download it and uh, or you can use your trend line to draw this right so when you draw this trend line we have that slight you know a small separated line something like this you can see here we have a support resistance being rebounding so when we have this downtrend the market time to rebound upward small a little but take note this may tend to do what have a fake out right tends to rebound upward upward and what happens it breaks out and continue continues what it's downtrend that's why i call this a continuation pattern the central applicator to bullish market aggressively come up with a high momentum you know hit a, a resistance area they rebound bound again bounce again to a support area come back down as if it's coming back towards that strength as if it's coming back towards where it's coming from towards the bullish move what happens next it breaks breaks out this area and go and continue what its movement right let's take a look at the next slide so you can be able to understand what i mean on how to trade it now this is a the the, the flag i'm talking about so when the market is selling the sharp move we have a range bound range bound range bound range bound now we have um if we measure the from here to here let's assume we have like 30 pips or 40 pips from here to here we have a high tendency that the market will keep making this move and when it breaks out it's going to make this move but it's going to make that 50 pips from here and make that 50 pips from here before retracement or before you know begin to uh, before the market to begin to continue anywhere that she wants to move right so that is how you can be able to you know have a risk reward ratio and know how to push into the market flag market or flag pattern and trade it it's not applicable to what to bullish flag pattern so so you can use a channel to do this you can use um a, a, a trend line to do this on your on your terminal or mt4 terminal mt5 terminal so these are like a target a traditional target like if you want to do your normal analysis your normal technical analysis and draw a trend line this is the way you can be able to target that same pips or target the same move you can be able to, you can also back test this and understand what it is on an actual chart manual back testing right so let's take a look at this and on attract as quick so you will, able, you will be able to understand what um, uh, flag pattern is 
all right this is a bearish flag pattern right you see this chart moves this is a pole right as i said earlier in payments is a pole so the a, a, we have a sharp aggressive downward trend toward this area then what happened markets begin to do what slide upwards move backwards right as if it's trying to go back 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 to where it's coming from right now many people push into this trade for a bullish and what happens markets has taken out the liquidity over here and do what and comes back trend. but when trading this kind of a breakout a flag breakout what do you what are you what are you looking out for in this pattern first the market came back to what take out liquidity here because you have a swing here if you are good in smc smart money con uh, concept or ict you can be able to understand what market came to do came to mitigate or came to take out this area a void or a gap here and also a gap here we have a market here so so market came to do what do mitigation or take out this liquidity and do what and continue the breakout and continue to continue what the downtrend that is what we call a bearish flag formation see that like a bearish flag formation okay let's take a look at a bullish flag formation now this is a bull uh, an aggressive move aggressive move where you can see a market that is bullish maybe we have um we'll have a bullish market move here where the market you know aggressively goes up now the market now bounced out of this resistance area begin to come back downwards trying to what cover this cover, cover trying to cover this area may trying to correct that move right which is trying to correct 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 the move right so um here we have a swing here we have a a gap here which market tends to cover right so what happened markets in the range bound range bound range bound to down to this area what happened next you broke out of this area and what happens the market continue to uptrend so that is that about uh, uh the bullish and bearish flag formation so in trading this you have to be very conscious of it you have to measure when you see, see this kind of thing in a chart may use your trend line or use a channel which can be able to show you what this is all about then measure from here to this area you see your fibonacci I measure from here to this area and know if it's the same move that you made from here and is actually the same move it's made to this area all right so that is how you can be able to trade flag formation as a bullish and bearish flag formation on an actual chart zagatech loves you all watch out for next lecture don't forget to subscribe like share this video for newbies and other ones that wants to learn and have knowledge about forex and this also this can help you and trading cryptocurrency, maybe Binance or any other platform you use in trading crypto. Zagatech loves you guys. Bye for now.